I wasted a thousand dollars, and honestly, I'm pretty embarrassed about it, and I want to save you that potential embarrassment. Why did I waste this money? Well, because color accuracy is actually a scam. When you're looking for a monitor for photo or video editing, you usually look at the resolution, the size, the brightness, and lastly, the color accuracy. And of these four features, color accuracy is actually the least important, yet the most marketed feature. Why is this? Well, that's a complicated answer, and one we're gonna have to dig a little more into. But first, let's talk about the feature that really matters. That's resolution. You want at least 4K resolution, especially when you're going as big as 27 inches. This is because when you're zooming in and out, you don't wanna be able to see pixels, you wanna be able to see photo detail. So it's important for both functional and creative choices in editing. Back to the main point though. For the digital sharing of images, color accuracy is not useful and it can even be bad for editing. A little side note here, editing for print is a different ball game. And that's because there are many more variations to keep in mind, such as paper. If it's a warm or a cool paper, that will change how your colors look. Printers, there are so many different printers out there and each print shop has their own monitors and their own way of interpreting the digital images onto the final print, not to mention all the different pigments out there and ink, laser versus pigment injection. And if you're really in that workflow, then it's a whole other story. But for digital, everything we see is on screens and each of those screens has a different color space, a different brightness level, and a different level of color accuracy. And this color accuracy is most commonly measured by a delta value. You'll hear a value of two sometimes thrown around, and of course you have different coverage or different color spaces. But all of that's pretty technical, and manufacturers like to list it on their website as some great feature. But in reality, because all of our screens are different, there is no one standard. The closest to a standard that we come to is Mac and iPhone screens. These are typically pretty similar. I've noticed that my MacBook Pro screen is very similar to my iPhone 11 Pro Max screen. The difference being that my iPhone screen is OLED, so it can show deeper blacks and brighter whites. But in terms of the actual colors, it's a pretty close match. But when I edit photos on my LG monitor or my ASUS ProArt monitor, which I spent $1,000 on for its great color space, I notice something that's very concerning and also ultimately slows down my creative process instead of enhances it. That is, when I edit the photo on my monitor, it looks really vibrant and great, but then when I export that to my phone, it looks washed out and the colors are desaturated or they're not the same colors. And this is a problem because for the digital sharing of images, you need to edit for the screens that people will most likely consume your content on. And statistically, that's iPhone screens, right? Social media, Instagram. People are most likely gonna see your photos on there. When I check the analytics of my website, I see most people visit my website on a mobile device. And we can't really count Android as a category here because each of those screens has much more variety than any iPhone screens have. Even when you're talking about an iPhone 8, which has a LED screen and the newest iPhones with their OLED screens. The colors are actually more similar than you would think compared to the Android competitors and the slew of devices out there which are totally different from each other. I mean, reviewers even talk about how Samsung's are vibrant screens, Google Pixels are vibrant and sharper screens, but people always say iPhones are truer to life and their colors are more neutral. So that's what you want to edit for. This process is very annoying though because I have to keep airdropping the photos back and forth from my screen to my phone and when I'm editing, I have to guess what the colors and exposure level might look like on my iPhone. So this is a message to all display manufacturers. Please stop touting these features that don't actually matter in the real world due to the extreme variance of screens that people are viewing content on. Instead, help us calibrate our screen so that we can match the look to the screen we're trying to make our content look best on for example, a phone. Now, please, in the comments, if you know a way around this or figured out something the rest of us haven't, please let us know because I'm really honestly getting pretty tired of this. And at this point, I think our technology is far enough along that we should be able to match screens more or less like Apple does with their Macs to their phones. I know this was a bit of a rant, but I'm honestly tired of manufacturers listing misleading specs in their website just to sell me 
this new and improved feature when I bought it and guess what? It didn't help. It, it was even worse than my, what, $600 LG monitor because at least my LG is a tiny bit closer to my iPhone, but the supposedly color accurate monitor from ASUS in their Pro Art series was way more off and I ended up having to edit my photos so they looked really bad on the ASUS monitor, like way oversaturated and the colors were all wrong, but hey, when I export them to my iPhone, which is where most people will see them, they look great. The only reason that I'm keeping the ASUS monitor is because it's 32 inches, 4K, and pretty bright, which are important things for photo editing. It's just the colors are really unfortunate. All right, I gotta stop talking about this now. And if you wanna see more shorter form content where I talk about photo and video and try to educate people, go to my TikTok, at Chase Hurt. See you over there.